Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. Sorry it's late and sorry for the lighting, but I really wanted to get this episode out. I had a lot of stuff going on yesterday and after reading the Pixel 6 um, leaks, I really just wanted to get a video going out. As you know, on Tuesday, I did a quick video talking about some of the things I think might be coming to Google I.O. next week. And as a Microsoft and Google fan, uh, as of late, I'm really, really excited. We have seen the price drop of the Surface Duo, and now we are seeing leaks on the Google Pixel 6, and this could be a great year, considering that hardware is actually available. I want to thank everyone for coming to take, uh, check out the video and uh, the Twitter, and also reading the comment section and having our conversations down there. So quickly, uh, anyone that knows me and has followed this channel knows I like the Microsoft Duo, but even more, in the past, I've been a really, really big Google Pixel fan. At the Pixel 2, I was a huge fan of it. Switched my wife over from an iPhone to a Pixel 5. And after seeing the Pixel 6 yesterday, it's come into fruition that maybe one of these two companies is finally taking phones seriously again. Um, both companies have a long ways to go to really get uh, a larger part of the market. But it really looks like Google and Microsoft are both looking to Samsung and their own mistakes to try to start growing again and not let other companies take over the market purely just because they have the market share and the mind share. We both, we all know that Google and Microsoft have the ability to create great software. They have fantastic software available, especially Google. Um, their programs, their software, their apps are among the best in the world and they don't require you to be locked into a certain ecosystem. Their ecosystem is open and available and you can there's a lot of apps that are not even google based but use their programs or are able to take their photos off and things like that it's not locked in like you see from the other corporations so with the pixel 6 coming out and it looks like they're actually taking it seriously that excites me the pictures hopefully the coloring is not what uh we saw yesterday but the design is intriguing um obviously when you look at renders, things aren't as smooth and nice. We saw the same thing with the Google Watch, and that looks absolutely off the charts. If we see this next week and the announcement of White Chapel, we really could finally see some innovation coming along and seeing companies really push forward to be better. So I want everyone to sit back, relax. Going into next week, we really could see Google really start coming forward, coming at, to push the market forward after a year off, taking a little more time to really push their designs and realize that the software they have, the following they have, the mind share and the fan base they have, if they take hardware seriously, they could really do some real damage in, in the hardware marketplace. But they really have to make sure that they do things like five, four to five years of support instead of two to three give pixel users something separate from everyone else monthly updates consistent features don't keep giving us features and taking them away like i was a huge fan of the squeeze on the pixel 2 and one of the reasons i didn't go with the pixel 4 was the price the lack of features um, from a day-to-day -day use and really honestly i just loved the squeeze feature that that and the updates and the camera were the three things that i loved about the pixel line and after being, having a OnePlus for a year now, which I'll do a, a review uh, very soon, um, it makes me want Pixels even more. Having the Duo makes me want to have Pixels even more. Not that I don't want those devices, I consider the Duo a very good secondary device, which I'm going to have to give back very soon after I get it fixed. But I'm really, really excited to see Google taking things seriously. I want to see Whitechapel be powerful. I want to see them bring back the dual, the visual core. I want to see newer Sony sensors in there. I want to see some good video um, graphics quality processing. Maybe borrowing some stuff from AMD and the Exynos, which I'm going to assume that's probably what's going on. There's some big stuff coming between uh, Samsung and AMD, and we could see the same thing going on. With Samsung, I don't know what they're doing, but Samsung's partnering with AMD, they're partnering with Google, they're partnering with Microsoft. They're really, really trying to move their foundry market and to start taking over. 
I'm really, really excited about this and hoping, I'm hoping next week that we get something for Pixel 6. If we don't, that's fine. I'd like to see more coming. If that, if maybe we can see the watch, the 5A make some differences and not be as, make a little bit of difference from the 3A and 4A. I mean, just to show that they're trying to go a certain direction. And honestly, I'm really, really, really hoping, and I'll do a separate video on this, really hoping to see new Pixel books. All right, guys, tell me what you guys want to see next week from Google I.O. and I'll do some more videos. Take care.